It is no big news that the Panadol has seen quite a few dust storms this year. However, what residents may not know is that conditions are similar of that to the 1930s Dust Bowl. Experts say only because of irrigation and conservation advances is the event of another Dust Bowl unlikely, but not entirely impossible. Take a look at this shot of a dust storm rolling through the Panhandle in March of 1936. Flash forward to now to this aerial view of an area northwest of Amarillo, also in March of this year. Researchers say that parts of Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Kansas, and Colorado are drier now than during the 30s. However, the chances of a Dust Bowl repeat are unlikely due to advances in groundwater and soil conservation. Back in the Dust Bowl days, there wasn't any irrigation or use of groundwater. Groundwater came in to being in the mid-50s in this part of the region, and irrigation technology has improved through time. Amarillo has seen five dust storms this year. It shows the increase of soil erosion in the area. Soil conservation programs have to get creative about keeping the dirt on the ground to grow their crops without any moisture or residue to hold it down. Wet soils don't blow. So when you have a drought, this is a step towards conditions where the soil is susceptible to erosion. But improvements in soil conservation in the Panhandle have kept the area from becoming what it was nearly a century ago. During the Dust Bowl, our understanding of production practices were not suited for this area. Nowadays, our better management technology is to conserve the soil residue. These techniques in tilling in an integrated system leave bigger chunks of soil, which are heavier and less likely to blow around in a dust storm. Experts say that if the drought does continue, that they will have to look at new forms of tilling because the old ways are not keeping the dust from blowing anymore. Back to you, Larry and Lisa.